Condoms in Japan have almost 600 styles. Among them, over 200 styles are made by Sagami. This is the story of Matsu Kawasaku, the founder of Sagami Rubber Industries. 1933, Matsukawa Pharmacy in Okayama, Tokyo. Is one pack okay for you, sir? Yes, I am Matsu Kawasaku. As you can see, I am a very ordinary lady. My husband passed away early, but he left a pharmacy to me, so my standard of living has been rather good so far. Kids, remember to go to bed early. Genji, please shut the door. Yes, okay. Ouch. My body, it hurts. Hey, Genji, wait. Where have you been? Have you got an STD again? R? I have told you many times to put on a condom, but you never listen. But, Miss Saku. Hey, you, thief. Kid. You dare to steal? Hey, Genji, let him go. No, we have to punish him. I said let him go. Ouch, it hurts. Don't pretend to be strong. Where are your parents? Where is your home? These children were abandoned by their parents and relied on stealing to survive. As there was no control by the government, a lot of children were abandoned, and became homeless in 1933, before World War II. The situation is getting worse than ever, because of people like you. What? You never think about preventing STDs, using contraception or condoms, which hurts women, and increases these poor kids suffering. I have no choice, as, that thing is, so thick that I don't really like to put it on. Condoms were made using the same material as rubber gloves, making them quite thick. If, if there were a thinner condom. I would definitely use it. Men also take contraception seriously, and would like to avoid getting STDs. Um. Okay, let me do it. So that there aren't so many orphan children, I will make a thin kind of condom. First of all, I have to apply for a loan from the bank by using the pharmacy as a guarantee huh? and on. set up the workshop. Sucker. Then, I have to look for the technicians that could make a thin condom. I will fulfill what I have said. What? Do you know what you are saying? Go away. I cannot refer you to any technicians. Aha! Uh -huh. How can you make any thin condoms? You are just a young lady. <laughs> Huh. Who would ask for your help anyway? It's over, Saku. We have been seeking technicians for quite a few months now. Don't cry and stay strong. Let's continue tomorrow. Nightfall is coming. Come on. There is one last technician to visit. Really? So it is possible? Yes. We have acquired a new kind of condom production technology from Europe. The main problem is, the ingredient, latex. If we can produce quality latex consistently, we can make extremely thin condoms. However, this investment required a certain amount of money, so our boss did not invest, as he is afraid of failure. Hey, let me invest. Mr. Ichikawa, what's that? Ah, please leave that there. The condoms will be produced by this sticky liquid, won't they? Yes but we need more manpower. Saku said, she will arrange the workers. Ah, uh, Saku. What? Sorry for keeping you waiting. I have got the workers. Those thieves? Kids are our workers? Yes, you are all my workers now. I will cook for you, and let you go to school, but you need to work for me too. As the investment on the machine was so huge, there was no spare budget to employ more workers. So two men, one woman and a few kids, start making the thin condoms continuously. No, it's still thick. Okay, let's try again. Condoms are produced automatically now, but they were made manually in the past. 
They put the latex on the mold. Turn the mold upside down and put it inside the heater. The machine looks like an oven. Then, the latex becomes transparent. And then, they paste some mineral powder on it, and roll it up using two threads. It looks nice this time. Yes. It looks very very thin. Now, let's test its strength. Ha! It's tough. Saku. By the way, such water capacity would not break the condoms nowadays. There is a high quality standard in Japanese condoms. QA will test the condoms by injecting 30 liters of air into them to see if they burst. Although the goods were not ready. Materials and food use a lot of money. In order to survive, not only did Saku sell drugs, but she also sold off Jokimonos. Still not okay. So hungry. No way. Hold on, we have no money. What did you say? Idiot, we can still afford meals. Saku, you're not eating, are you? I am full, you enjoy. I'll share half with Me you. Me too. Me too. Aw, oh, no need. Usually it breaks now. Even all of you are trying to escape? Oh. It's strong. We... we did it. Zaku. In 1934, Saka made ultra-thin and ultra-strong latex condoms in Japan for the first time. However, after all this hard work and these hard times, the condom got no sales at all. We don't need it. See? We still have so much stock. But, this is thinner and stronger. At that time, everyone believed all condoms were the same. And it was very difficult to explain the benefits to customers due to this. No matter how good a product is, it is useless if you cannot sell it. Even the factory didn't have the funds to operate continuously. Please, please give us some more time. No way, the bank cannot wait. Please hand over either the workshop or the pharmacy. Please, give me some more time. No way. Please. Something that doesn't work will not work. Maybe it looks like a failure to have a woman operate a condom factory. So let's do this. Close the factory, and focus on operating the pharmacy. Obviously, I can't let them stay in the street anymore. I will close the factory, and we can at least turn three meals a day, by running the pharmacy. Hey, it is late. Please go to sleep. Almost done. Let's finish. That's right. Okay, but there is no need to work. We are unable to sell it. But, isn't this work to prevent kids like us from being in the world? Oh? To reduce orphans like us. Right. We need to work hard. You. You all. Well said. Saku. Saku. You are right. We must work hard. And then, the banker started to call on the loan. Saku sold her pharmacy and home. And after that, built a small house besides the factory to live there, and make condoms to sell. Okay, let's work hard today. Saku took a large bag of goods with her every day. Sometimes, Saku walked all night, traveling to the remote countryside to sell her condoms. Then suddenly one day... Saku. Oh. Sold. Sold out. Our condom has been sold out. Saku's clients spread the word one by one. And there came a huge influx of sales. It's great. Everyone is willing to use our condoms now. To protect women, and to prevent any more poor orphans. Saku's condom continued to have extremely good sales. The factory became bigger and bigger. After World War II, Saku soon rebuilt the factory. The factory and the company grew together. Now, Sagami Rubber has expanded to overseas countries. Sagami Condom, being one of the most trusted brands in the world, is exported to over 80 countries worldwide. The condom is a product that affects the lives of an entire generation, so we need to take it very seriously. That is what Saku said. 
Sagami Rubber Industries Company Limited, current chairman, Ichiro Oto, grandson of Saku. Yes, this is what my grandma said to me and I will always remember it. In her later years, Saku tried her best to build a general hospital in Atsuki City, in the prefecture of Kanagawa, where the factory was located. She was even nominated as an honorable resident there, 